established scientific and, and the population at large and the, and the church of course that the earth was not the center of the known universe uh, even when Galileo a century later used a telescope to demonstrate it that's how science works we observe it and demonstrate or test it they still had a resistance but eventually it had to be accepted it was a truth that could not be denied uh, you go down in the street now and you talk to anybody and you say the earth is a globe and it rotates on its axis and everybody's okay with that. But if you go in the street now and you tell them about quantum mechanics, they think you're mad. What quantum mechanics physicists, particle physicists, theoretically have been unable to do is to transmit the cutting edge knowledge to the general public. They're trying very hard of course with YouTube and television, but it's still not there. It is it sounds spooky but it's true, there you are. So my, my mission, if you like, with this book, which Shadow Rick is saying, is to popularize this as much as we can so that people can feel comfortable to speculate uh, in what they think is, uh, is bizarre stuff because anything is possible now. You know, we're talking about multiverses, we're talking about uh, simulated universes, we're talking about parallel universes, we're talking about string theory. So anything is possible, but it has to be approached intelligently. So now I can say, well, to, 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 if I go to a, to, to a club or a bar and I say that there could be pyramids in another universe, they think I'm mad. If I say this to theoretical physics, they think it's fine, it's okay, it's possible. Now, that is what I call intelligent speculation. For people like I've seen in this conference that have wonderful ideas, but they need to get to the, to the frontiers of science so that they know how to present this rather than appear as woo-woo stuff. That's how it works. Oh, 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 oh.